Hello and welcome back everyone, today we will look back at the 1985 American movie Secret Admirer. We will revisit the cast of the movie and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. Lori Laughlin, known for her role as Aunt Becky on Full House, faced a college admission scandal, paying bribes for her daughter's entry into prestigious universities. Her career suffered, facing public backlash and dropping from projects. She pleaded guilty in 2020 and served a two-month prison sentence. The scandal shed light on inequities in college admissions and sparked conversations about privilege and integrity. Laughlin has since maintained a low profile, with her future in the entertainment industry uncertain. Her story serves as a cautionary tale about unethical choices and the need for a fair educational system. Time will reveal if she can rebuild her career. Kelly Preston, a beloved actress, captivated audiences with her radiant presence on screen. Her versatile career spanned over three decades, showcasing her magnetic charm and impeccable acting skills. Preston effortlessly transitioned between comedy, drama, and romance, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. Off-screen, her warmth and dedication to family endeared her to all. Tragically, she passed away on July 12, 2020, leaving a void in the industry. However, her legacy as a remarkable actress and human being will continue to shine brightly. Rest in peace, Kelly Preston. In early March 2016, a film titled Vasos de Papel caused a major controversy in Puerto Rico. It was discovered that writer-director Eduardo Ortiz had shamelessly plagiarized the entire film from another work called Secret Admirer. Scene by scene, word by word, and shot by shot, Ortiz had deceitfully presented it as his own creation. After just a few days of screening, articles exposing the undeniable similarities between the two films surfaced, revealing Ortiz's dishonesty. Initially, he dismissed the allegations, claiming it was a matter of interpretation. However, a short while later, he admitted his grave mistake during a radio interview, apologizing to his cast and crew. Actress Natalia Lugo, the lead in Vasos de Papel, spoke out against the film on social media, expressing her embarrassment and the deception experienced by the entire team. This scandal ended Ortiz's film's run in Puerto Rican cinemas, exposing his lack of integrity. Dee Wallace, a renowned American actress, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. With a career spanning four decades, she captivates audiences with her versatile talent. From her unforgettable portrayal in E.T. the Extraterrestrial, 1982, to her diverse roles in horror, drama, and comedy, Wallace showcases her acting prowess. Her collaborations with Wes Craven solidified her status as a screen queen. Additionally, her appearances in popular TV series like Grey's Anatomy and her motivational books further inspire others. Wallace's contributions have made her a beloved icon in acting. Jeffrey Blake, a versatile and captivating actor, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry with his exceptional range. Hailing from Baltimore, his passion for acting was evident from an early age. With breakout roles in The Usual Suspects and appearances in acclaimed films like Forrest Gump and Apollo 13, Blake seamlessly embodies diverse characters on screen. His impactful television roles in Lost, Grey's Anatomy, and The X-Files showcase his versatility. Beyond acting, Blake actively supports charitable causes, emphasizing environmental conservation, animal rights, and social justice. With talent and unwavering dedication, Blake continues to inspire audiences worldwide. His contribution to entertainment is immeasurable and will captivate for years to come. Jim Cook and David Greenwald remain silent on the secret admirer slash Vasos de Papal plagiarism dispute, with no official statement released as of March 2016. Silence persists from both parties, leaving the controversy unresolved. Fred Ward, a versatile actor, captivated audiences for decades with his rugged charm and undeniable talent. 
Born in 1942, he transitioned from theater to film and TV, gaining recognition for roles like Remo Williams in Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins, 1985, and Gus Grissom in The Right Stuff, 1983. Ward's depth and authenticity shine whether playing tough guys or complex characters, seen in notable appearances like Tremors, 1990, Escape from Alcatraz, 1979, and Shortcuts, 1993. With a career spanning over five decades, Ward's indelible mark on entertainment endures. Cliff De Young, a seasoned actor, has graced screens big and small with his remarkable talent. With a versatile career spanning over four decades, he effortlessly embodies a wide range of characters. Born on February 12, 1945, in Los Angeles, his passion for acting developed early. From theater to television and film, he excelled. Notable roles include rock star Stoney Jackson in Shock Treatment, 1981, and the iconic John Lennon in John and Yoko, The Love Story, 1985. He's made memorable appearances in Dallas, The X-Files, and Law and & Order, SVU. De Young is also a talented musician and songwriter, showcasing his versatility. His dedication and authenticity have garnered critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. He navigates genres and mediums with ease, bringing charisma to troubled musicians, charming villains, and complex protagonists. De Young's contributions inspire aspiring actors and entertain audiences worldwide. In this film, see, Thomas Howell fearlessly performed the majority of his daring stunts. His exceptional dedication to the craft shines through in every scene. Truly a testament to his talent and commitment. Stunts by C. Thomas Howell. Casey Ciamasco, an accomplished actor, brings depth and versatility to his characters. With a career spanning three decades, he has worked with renowned directors like Spielberg and Mamet. Ciamasco seamlessly transitions between genres, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Despite focusing on the craft rather than fame, he takes on diverse roles and challenges himself. In film, TV, and theater, Ciamasco showcases his commitment and talent, earning respect from peers. His nuanced, authentic performances captivate and leave a lasting impact. Ciamasco may not be a household name, but his undeniable contributions to acting are exceptional. Courtney Gaines, a versatile and talented actor, has left a lasting impression on both the big and small screens. With a career spanning decades, he has showcased his prowess in a range of roles, from menacing to quirky. From his debut in Children of the Corn to memorable performances in Back to the Future and Can't Buy Me Love, Gaines brings depth and authenticity to his characters. With notable TV appearances and a passion for music, he proves to be a multifaceted artist. Gaines captivates audiences with his charisma and chameleon-like abilities, solidifying his place as a beloved Hollywood gem. On February 16, 2016, Olive Films launched a Blu-ray version of this movie in the US. Coincidentally, it coincided with the theatrical debut of Vasos de Papel in Puerto Rico. However, Vasos de Papel was swiftly withdrawn from cinemas as it was revealed to be an unauthorized replica of this film. Intriguingly, these events unfolded simultaneously, exposing the bizarre connection between the two. Lee Taylor Young, a versatile and captivating American actor, has made an indelible mark on the industry. Her radiant beauty and undeniable charisma effortlessly transitioned her between roles, captivating audiences in film and television. With breakout performances in Peyton Place and Soylent Green, Lee showcased her talent and versatility. Her work in The Thorn Birds and Picket Fences earned widespread acclaim and prestigious awards. Beyond acting, she actively advocates for environmental causes, further cementing her legacy. Lee Taylor Young is an icon whose talent and commitment continue to inspire aspiring actors. C. Thomas Howell, an American actor born on December 7, 1966, in California, gained recognition for his talent and charisma. 
Rising to prominence in the 1980s, he portrayed complex characters in movies like The Outsiders and Red Dawn. Howell's range spans genres, earning critical acclaim and captivating audiences worldwide. He also made significant contributions to TV shows like Criminal Minds, Southland, and Grimm, showcasing his depth. Howell ventured into directing with his debut Hourglass, receiving positive reviews. With versatility and dedication, Howell remains respected in the industry, leaving a lasting impact on film and TV. Kelly Preston has a four-year age advantage over C. Thomas Howell, while Lori Laughlin enjoys a two-and-a-half-year head start. Fascinating age dynamics. <laughs>